You're fighting for the peace-loving colonists of L5 using your antimatter cannon to destroy Megalite warships. Sounds like a terrific plot for a video game, and it is Encounter at L5. Even though this game takes place in the future, it was released in the past, and you can still play it in the present. Copyright 1982 from Data Age. You know, they put out a lot of decent science fiction games. Silver Label looks just like Warplock. And this game is played using the Atari 2600 paddle controllers. And is clearly one of those many, many games inspired by Space Invaders. But with a subtle twist. When I move my cannon, the antimatter cannon, of course, it becomes invisible. And the enemy can't hit it. You hold down the button to fire and just keep it held down for auto fire. When you let go, your ship becomes invisible and you can move. The only way that you can tell where you are is by looking at the yellow block on the top of the screen. When the warning siren sounds, you know that one of the enemy death ships is coming and you've got to destroy it before it touches the ground. I'm letting the peace-loving colonists of L5 down because that was pretty sloppy, but it's really tricky to tell where your space laser antimatter thing is when it's invisible. Because you want to reappear and shoot the death ship without being blown up by the other spaceships coming in to destroy you. Problems. The paddle controller's touchy in this game. When you move it just a little bit, your cannon flies all the way across the screen. Takes a bit of time to get used to, but if you like the Space Invaders style of gameplay, Encounter at L5 is one you might want to check out. I like that it's played with the paddle controllers. Because I like the paddle controllers. They were a lot of fun. You know you lose when the screen goes from color to black and white, which would of course be a problem if you were playing on a black and white television. Back when they were made of wood. The first game was being played on a harder difficulty setting. This is the easy one, and you can see that these spaceships are attacking at a much slower speed. What more can be said about Encounter at Del 5? This game is for one or two players. It's not one of the really easy to find Atari 2600 game cartridges, but it's not a rarity either. It's a nice looking game cartridge. In fact, most of the Data Age games are. I like the silver labels with the science fiction artwork. I also enjoy playing games that have, have, have something very simple that just sets it apart from all of the other games that are also inspired by Space Invaders. The whole thing where you move while you're invisible is extremely difficult to get used to. Because you know where you want to be, but the controller is so touchy that to line up exactly where you want to appear, shoot the bad guy before he shoots you... Well, it's, well, it's harder than it sounds at times. You definitely want to shoot him early before he descends closer to the surface. It's gone to black and white. L5 has been destroyed, but that's okay. L6 is really a lot cooler anyway. <laughs>